Hey guys, uh, Alexei here, signing on for today, and um, there is going to be another standing day video, uh, because I, I drove almost for two hours and I'm fucking tired of being sitting down, believe it or not. But anyway, uh, what I want to cover first, it's the... Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. So... Uh, we have two blog posts from what I'm seeing. One is for Cros Cosmic Crucible season. Let me see if there are, yeah, changes in rules, okay? I mean, I it's not that I expected it, but uh, I think it is a new tournament or new season. So, yeah. So, let's see. Uh, on defense and offense, holy shit. An I later character. Anytime a character gains ability energy, that character gains regeneration. Honestly, I, I don't remember the kids right now, but I mean, there has to be some energy uh, magic uh, so that this happens. But anyway, this is good. Not not overly overpowering, but yeah, this is good. Then on defense, um, this is global, yeah. On defense, again, 20% health and 10 damage. I mean, I think that's normal. That's as usual. Uh, at each uh, completed attack in plus one exhausted. Okay, yeah, this is normal. Then stage one teamwork on defense and offense striker characters on ally turn gain assist now. Okay, I think this was like it was right now, right? I don't know. On the uh, stage two on defense and offense or characters on turn for yourself for five five percent of that character's max health and flip offense down on self. Okay, so like some sort of self cleansing. On turn, if this character's barrier is about fifty percent, gain offense up. Okay. I mean, this this is uh, this is really difficult to sustain. Some characters might have a really, uh, uh, advantage here. Characters like Black Knight, stuff like that, that uh, have barrier. Or if you put them as fortifier, so for example, I don't know, um, Gladiator in this case, they get, if if they have above fifty, they gain offense up. I mean. Uh, Black Knight is going to be a monster with this. This is all I know. Uh, stage 3 on defense and offense. On successful hit, if the target has exposed, perform a basic attack against the, that target. So, characters like Nightcrawler, Wall, and yeah, that's it, I think. Maybe Super Scroll, I don't know. If this character has exposed, lower the chances, this character's resistance by 20. Holy shit. So, this is... This is against you, right? I don't know. Anyway, uh, on stage 4, on offense and defense, if this character has stealth, gain 20% damage. Uh, Noir, for example. Um, big time Spider-Man. On dodge, and, on dodge, gain stealth. Okay, fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me, fuck me. Okay. Stage 4. Stage 4. Look at what I'm going to do. Look at what I'm going to do. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, come on, hurry the fuck up. I don't have all the time in the world. No, it comes crucial. <coughs> of course I was going to lose. I know. I don't care. Defense. These guys go on stage 4. That's it. These guys will be gaining stealth like crazy. They're gonna be evading almost everything. Well, not 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 everything, but yeah, they're gonna be evading a lot, gaining a lot of um, uh, stealth and gaining damage up with that stealth. Then stage five on turn, gain one deflect. Okay, not a big time. When this character is attack, apply defense down to the attacker. Okay, uh, not a big thing. On stage 6, on defense and offense, when this character drops below 50% health, gain trauma. Holy shit. Holy shit. When this character uses Dorky's Madness, ha. When this character uses their special gain ability block. Holy shit. When this character uses their, their ultimate, go blind. Holy shit. So, overall, there are, uh, this time there are no, like, Crazy advantages on the defense and on offense, like everything is kind of a okay, manageable. This this room is this room and 
the defense team, which is Spider-Man, uh, Super Spider-Man is gonna be crazy. That's the only thing I have to say. Stage five is not that bad. Stage three is not that bad. Um, stage two is not that bad. Stage one is not that bad. This one, stage six, it's insane. Stage six, it's insane. Okay, I mean. You can use the ultimate, but the character is gonna go blind on the on this. He has immunity safeguard and not trauma, then there's no issue. Same with ability block. But once you get trauma, then you're kind of fucked up. Um, anyway, let's move on to the other stuff. Weekly block exterminate. <laughs> Here's your pal plans for August uh, 31st to September, whatever. So, uh, as of tomorrow, I'm gonna be in the US at this time. So, yeah, uh, I'll try to do it. Weekend Arena Warriors. And obviously, on Sunday, Weekend Arena Warriors. Then on September 2nd, which is Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Monday. Uh, Running Blitz. Okay, yeah, whatever. Hank Pym Strike Pass. I'm gonna completely skip it. Thank you very much. Then September 3rd, that's Tuesday. September 3rd, we're gonna get Sentinel initial release. This means he's orbs and uh, or it's orbs and uh, elite elite orbs. Sentinel showcase. Okay, so we'll have a mission or whatever. Then uh, the events. So a greater purpose: spend ISO 8 campaign energy pl plus battle in cosmic crucible plus collect cosmic crimson conceal or fragments plus battle in blitz with annihilators. So basically, I guess this is gonna be a 200 um, refresh uh, course in uh, ISO ISO campaign. A greater power web milestone: spend radioactive treats in the store. So we're gonna get the radioactive trip somewhere. Tolerance is Extinction Alliance event. Collect milestone points from Orchis raid nodes, battle in raids, collect ally supply or fragments. Okay. Nothing that out of the ordinary. Uh, then September 6th, that is Friday, I think. Yeah, that is Friday. The House of Voting Quick Rumble. Okay. Then keep an eye out of uh, for inbox messages, alerting you for characters availability. Then pa Pineapple is coming to Raid Store and Raid Orb. Great, I'm gonna fucking find him as soon as possible. Dakin is gonna come to the Arena Store and Arena Orb. I don't know if I have enough tokens to like farm him immediately. Spider-Man Pavitor to the Bleed Store and Bleed Orb. Oh boy, this is gonna be free! Then Spotlight Orb feature, 5 characters. Penny Parker, Spider-Man, Pete Parker, and the leader, and Iron Patriot. Okay, 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 not bad, not bad. Uh, Sentinel putting up feature, putting up for battle. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I know, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Starting increasing the feature for, yeah, yeah, yeah. Red Star characters, yep. Yeah. With Red Star when it's feature, yeah, okay. Sentinel Orchid's Orb and Tolerance Extinction, extinction mar, uh, Milestone. Is this here? It's it's not here. So that's weird. But anyway, uh, begin your mission to unlock Sentinel by hunting down Sentinel Orchid's Orbs from the Tolerance is Extinction Alliance Milestone. Okay, this one. This one. Um, uh, earn points for milestones from the Orchids raid notes uh, rewards battling rates this I mean this is the you double dip both in, in getting milestones from the rewards and uh, the battling rate so this is good and the alliance support for all fragment it's from the web uh, free offers that's it it's sentinel orchid orbs open score points over the sentinel siege milestone which you will find even more sentinel shards yeah okay I don't, I don't see the sentinel in my son, but whatever. Orchis Forge. Hunt down key resources to help transform your Orchis team into a tech raid. You're gonna have during this mutated super showcase. Oh, okay, okay, this is a showcase. Okay, there are several important updates to the showcase that separate from the recent ones. So, commanders uh, level 25 and above, uh, take a look for your primer. Cyphers, acquire free, uh, acquire for bonus missions. Use Cyphers instead of showcase event energy uh, to play bonus missions for each character. You will receive three Cyphers when the Sentinel uh, showcase begins, and then we have to get more, I guess. So, uh, cyphers will not regenerate over time, so you will get, you will have to acquire Cyphers from Orchid Rage Rewards and Milestone events. <laughs> okay, I mean, at least you're gonna get them. Cyphers can be used for any character showcase, meaning there isn't a Cypher for each character. Well, then, okay. 
Well, these ciphers can be used to play Team Showcase bonus missions. If you don't successfully complete a bonus mission, either from failing, uh, completing the mission or disconnecting from battle, you will still keep the cipher. Oh my god, this is good! First time they, these motherfuckers do this. Anyway, requirements, uh, the story, there's no cost to play, no cipher requirements, and no character requirements. Good. Then the bonus. Each character has a 3 bonus mission that requires 1 Cypher to enter. The Orchis Team Showcase will have 5 bonus missions that require 1 Golden Cypher to enter. Missions have a character Yellow Star requirement that decreases with each mission. Oh shit, this is gonna be the pay to win stuff. Sentinel mission, oh, these are the characters uh, showcases and then we have the full showcase. So this is gonna be exactly, exactly like... Ha! Motherfuckers, this is gonna be exactly like what the fuck is this? What? This is crazy. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, you know, I'm gonna take a new one. Give me a second. God damn it. This is gonna be, this is gonna be my, uh, my, uh, thumbnail. This is gonna be exactly like the Captain Britain event. <laughs> you are kind of soft locked, not for a new car another character, which is good, uh, but you're soft locked for better rewards based on the uh, star level of your characters. So let's say that we get a release event for each and every character before the end of this event. Um. How many stars do you think you'll be getting from a free to play event? Only three, as always, not more. Like, with a lot of fucking luck, a four star. Um, and yeah, the good stuff is gonna be locked behind a five star Sentinel, five star Nimrod, and five star Omega Red. So, what do these motherfuckers in Scopely want you to do? Of course, to buy the offers. Or core insanely, which I mean, it's not sustainable for to core for the annihilators and immediately core for the uh, Orchis team. So yeah, it's it's not gonna be possible. And then, which is worse, we have the Orchis team, which is <laughs> I I know that I'm just gonna be doing mission one, mission one, mission one, and mission one, and that's it. Th those golden ciphers can f go fuck themselves. I mean, if the they are repeatable and you get the rewards on, on, on repeat, then that's okay. But I, I assure you, you'll be getting killed here, maybe till here, gear T18, and you're getting Crimson 8 and possibly Purple Iso here. That's what they want. That's the logic behind this. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna even get into mission 2. Ah, uh, these motherfuckers. So you can destroy enemies during the extra mission to capture first time rewards. Gold, gear crate, seal, crimson gear, T2s, level 4, T level 2 ISO, la 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 la. So no purple. In chapter 2, certain rewards include crimson gear and a chance to earn diamonds for Nimrod. So, yeah, chapter 2. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to do chapter 2. No, I... What what is chapter two? Oh yeah, chapter two. Okay, but did mission one mission one one two of what Nimrod or the Orkis team? This is not clear. But anyway, um, each and everybody of us that do not uh pay to to win, um, are not gonna be able to get more than one uh, diamond Nimrod, which is good. How f how long till we have a a a seven red? Nimrod, so these diamonds apply six months to a year. And will this team still be relevant further down the road? I don't know, probably, but you never know. So, yeah, one diamond is more than enough. The diamond drop rates are identically across uh, the character showcases. The team showcase uses a different cipher and higher, higher drop rates. So, yeah, okay, so yeah, you, you must be doing the Orchis team uh, mission one. Uh, complete all the showcases to avoid missing on these uh, valuable rewards. Sending like showcase kicks things September 3rd. Okay. And then the death, death strike, death strike return to campaigns. Okay. And graphic improve update. 
Okay, let the strike is gonna be in chapter one, mission no three. Uh, uh -huh. And then graphic improvements, yeah, whatever. My cell phone is not here, so anyway, I don't care. Additional in devices older that above, performance issues, and then we have the free claim, and then we have the annihilator initiative events. Yeah, whatever. And then we have the Cs, more radioactive traits, gladiator cardio shards. Okay, we'll have gladiator shards. Yeah, it's like his official event, right? A greater purpose, which is a greater purpose. It's, uh, ISO 8 campaign energy, 200 refresh. Uh, bottling Cosmic Crucible, uh, it doesn't matter if you f fucking lose, I hate Cosmic Crucible. And then collect Crystal Council or Fragments, I don't know where these are gonna come. And then battle Blitz with Annihilator. This is, this is gonna be good. Blitzing with Annihilator, it's, it's free stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it, the ISO uh, 8 energy is not limited, so 200 cores and spend as much as you can. But on the CC is limited to, you can do, this is kind of weird. No, actually it's not. Um, if you do your six battles per Cosmic Crucible in two days, you'll max it out. Uh, if you can do more, like if you fail because, because uh, Cosmic Crucible sucks and you have to double tap or triple tap the nose, you'll, you're going to finish it sooner. Then uh, Crimson Council or Fragments, it doesn't say where you're going to get it. I'll, I'll have to continue reading the blog. Then but Blitz with Annihilators, it's limited. So just five battles and that's it. Uh, I don't think if you're free to play, uh, nobody has Radiator 5 yellow and Gorage 5 yellow and Thanos at 5 yellow. So it is unreachable, just 5,000 uh, points extra. Then a, a greater purpose wave event, um, spend radioactive treats. So I don't know, yeah, yeah, you'll get radioactive treats from a greater purpose uh, and spend them and that's it. Uh, the, the more you spend, the, the more you will get. Now the free to play item is the quantum bands and it's located in uh, milestone 13. Let's say by sheer luck you're able to get to milestone 15 and 16 onwards it's it's uh, pay to win. So you'll only get 5,015, 27,000, Mm, 37,000 and 37,000 uh, like 100,000 uh, radioactive treats give or take 105,000 so uh, this is what where it's gonna get you yeah, I mean if I'm not mistaken yeah yeah okay okay if you get if you get to the uh, to milestone 14, which is I guess it's gonna be completely yeah, we have gladiator shards in milestone 15, so this is where you want to be aiming. Hopefully, hopefully, it is not pay to win. Hopefully, milestone 15 is not pay to win. I I don't care further than that. Hopefully, milestone 16 onwards it's pay to win. So um, if you, ugh, I mean, those sweet, we're gonna get 10, 20. 40 60 gladiator shards this does not grant you a on an unlock it will grant you an unlock if you don't have him at uh milestone 15 but again uh, and let me check my own gladiator right i don't know how many points do i have to get to 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 do yeah it will only take literally it will only take me to uh for yellow which doesn't grab me whatever for the other event for this event actually but anyway you'll get enough radioactive treats to completely finish the wave event that's it don't worry the intolerance is extinction alliance milestone uh orchestrate notes battle nades uh rates and allied supply or fragments this is i don't know again business as usual probably you'll get to milestone 16 and that's it you'll get you'll only get, what the fuck Okay, I think I think these guys are really gating the rewards from from the showcase, and I don't care because it's just crimson gear and everything. It's not a character, so on that side it's better. But you are only getting two ciphers, and that's it from this event. 
two ciphers and two ciphers only. And I don't see the special whatever cipher, gold cipher, whatever. So I don't know where you're going to be getting it. Anyway, probably uh, milestone 16 is more than enough. So these two ciphers are going to uh, allow you to do not the team milestone, but uh, probably the Sentinel and the Nimrod and the Omega Sentinel milestone. So yeah, I don't see... I don't see ciphers anywhere else. Fuck me. So this means that you are only gonna be able to do two missions. Not 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 more. Which is weird. So let's say Nimrod sending on Nimrod and that's it. Then the House of Odin. Yeah, whatever. It's blitzing. Then September login calendar. Then you cosmic crucible frame. Cosmic crucible frame? Additional R uh, rewards. Top. Yeah, fuck you. I don't care. And then celebrating 85 years of Marvel. And then everything is subject to change. So, yep. That's going to be the end of this video. 20 minutes. Just quickly, let me move back to the game. Blue stacks. And let me... Uh, I, don't, I don't have... Uh, I claim my energy at 12 p.m. local. Uh, we have the reset of the store. Let me go through it. I need this. Do I need this? Mm, no, that seems like not. Then, do I need this? Do I need this? No. So, I can save some gold, fortunately enough. Penny Parker, finally. A couple of days without Penny Parker. I mean, just bullshit. Um, then, here, I think I have more than enough of everything. So, yeah, that's good. Nothing here. Uh, let me take my Sanctity Supreme to get 18. And then from here, I'm going to take him, obviously, to level 100, as, as discussed before. Uh, that's it. That was a lot of gold. Um, oh, right now, we have a Masters of Evil uh, Blades event. You know, a business as usual. Blades with them five times. And that's more than enough. Like, literally, that's more than enough. So, actually, I'm going to do it right now. So, you can see it's uh, Masters of Evil, right? Hopefully, I'm not mistaken. Masters of Evil. So, it's, it's one. Then, 25 credits. Blitz, oh, Blitz Energy. Come on, piece of shit. <sighs> Motherfucking game. Two. Three, or was it four? I don't know. And then this is the last one. And I think with this is more than enough. I'll just uh, finish the milestone offline. Let me check. Yeah, it's more than enough. So yeah, you get a, a couple of the milestone points for the milestone event, monthly milestone event, which actually took me one milestone further. And let's see. We don't have crucible. We have war later today. And uh, you can do your arena. I did buy the uh, Aris Battle Pass. This will take me not very long, not very far away, for away uh, to maybe for my well, like here, something like that. So not a lot. At 6 p.m. local, uh, it's time uh, reset time and free energy time. And let's see, let's see. Actually, we have a lot of things here. I don't know. <laughs> Bullshit, this is bullshit, you know, this is uh, not bullshit, but at least gear T18, uh, not bad, not bad, uh, yeah, I need this, uh-huh, and then, okay, and what else do we have, oh, wow, boy, okay, uh-huh, nothing very good here, uh, probably nothing very good here, yeah, that's it, so, uh, yeah, do I have to open this one, yeah, I hate it. I want to have my, my notification like completely clean, you know, that's what I like. I have two ones here, but I don't know what are those. I didn't find them, right? Mm, one of these. Okay. And the other one. Ah, it's, it's, it's uh, duplicate shards. Yeah, 96. And let me check here if I have something. 3, 8, nothing. And 1. Okay. That's it. So that's it for today. Let me see if I have something here. Ah, actually, seems like I do. Um, again, I told you uh, today and tomorrow I'm going to be traveling. 
uh, honestly and, and high likely I'm not gonna be able to do content maybe no I don't know Monday probably probably on Monday but the event starts at Tuesday so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do content on Tuesday um, but the math is already here guys don't worry uh, in this video um, usually Wednesdays we have something on the blog post and obviously on Fridays but um, on Wednesday I'm gonna be really busy on, on the office so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it and then Friday I'm gonna be you know like it's, it's gonna be um, really sightseeing uh, a lot so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it too but once I come back maybe I can I can review everything on the blog post for that week on Saturday or Sunday and yeah that's that's gonna be my plan again if I can do even even a five minute video on, on my cell phone and upload it to YouTube directly and that's it then I'll try to do it but I can I can really assure you anything uh, guys anyway for next week I go I, I wish you the best luck uh, for Sentinel coring Sentinel and the best luck for um, the uh, gladiator finally free to play event hopefully you if you haven't unlocked him yet hopefully you unlock him and take him as high as possible if you can take him to four yellow that's great if you can take him to five yellow then you are really lucky coring or or opening the orbs anyway that's it please do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna be seeing you probably next week <laughs> i mean next weekend so thank you very much guys see you around alexai signing out goodbye